Welcome back to the channel. It's about 7.30 Christmas Eve. You see, I'm Irish and all my family are in Ireland. And my parents are in Tenerife. And uh, so I'm here on my own. But, uh, well, Weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Look at all these little rabbits. Oh my god, it's cold and it's cold. And it's time to try out a new tool. And we're going to get a sanding disc. I'm just going to have a bit of an experiment and sand. This, by the way, is the mast. I've opened up the hatch and uh, letting smoke out. So the smoke is now nicely clearing. So while that was happening, I've uh, got my trusty sponge and there was water in here. Anyway, so that's all the water that was collected in it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is drop this. And now I'm going to take this grease. I'm just going to reapply more grease to this and that will keep it from corroding in the traditional sense. So this would have been a sealed off bulkhead and the only access was this hatch which is right there. I've never opened this hatch ever. I don't have a key. So I removed the door jam is so that I can actually get at the steel here and you can see this corrosion up here and all of this. These were covered by the door jam and you can see that it needs to be cleaned up and painted and 
secured. Well, it's all looking good, ready for painting. Only there's one problem, it's too cold for the paint. And the problem is not that necessarily it's cold and paint doesn't like it, it can take a lot longer to cure, um, according to manufacturer's guidelines. But the big issue is we've got moisture. So you can see there's a, a bit of a wet patch there and a wet patch there in the roof. So what needs to happen is we need to warm this place up. Stuck in the boat. Ha ha. Fire cement into all the gaps, seal them all up, and then I'm going to wrap it. Wet your finger, and we'll mold it in. Seals up all the joints nicely. Now I've got this, which is heat resistant wrap, and I'm going to wrap that around everything that I've just sealed up. I put fire cement all over it. So what I'm gonna do, so it was leaking in here, so I've shoved fire cement in there. So I'm going to score along here. Steam. There's a hole right there. Should 
chaps, we have a fire. Fire. Do 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 fire. Do 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 fire. Now let's see. We've got hammerite number one rust beater. Ideal operating temperature: eight degrees centigrade to twenty-five degrees centigrade. Well, I better keep it nice and warm beside the fire. And while I'm at it, I'll keep the blue roll there beside the fire. Oops, falling over. And, ah, oh, well, might as well keep the solvent here as well. And there's all the wood nicely drying and all the coal. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? it down. All of these jobs, every single one of them is disgusting and certainly not a job I'm looking forward to. Happy New Year everyone!